Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I just wanted to come on today and talk a little bit about A5 inserts. I think A5 is the easiest size to use if you're doing uh, printables. They are very versatile. You can use them in several different style planners or binders. So in a previous video, which I will link here, I talk about the different sizes. I don't go in depth, but I kind of show you examples of what the metric system is versus our system or the U.S. system of measurement. So here are the two A5 half letter or half page examples. So this is what the size is in the U.S. And this is the metric size pretty much everywhere else that everywhere else uses so if you can you can see let's put it on a darker back or different background you can kind of see the difference in the two so the true a5 is a little wider and a little shorter than the half letter which is the u.s version so the difference is minor but there is a difference so for the purposes of this video and as far as the inserts that I sell in my shop and the inserts that I design, I design based on the half letter. And half letter is just a letter size sheet of paper, your regular size copy paper or printer paper cut in half. So that's like the easiest insert to use. And I'm going to show you. I've already printed and cut these, but let's look at these. I printed these uh, horizontal, week on two page printable inserts. I printed front and back, very simple. There's a video um, on my channel that shows how to print these. Put these away. And the only thing you have to do is cut these in the middle or fold them in the middle. It depends on what type of planning system or binding system you are using. This is, and I'll show you how to cut these in a moment. This is an A5 traveler's notebook. So it fits A5 inserts. Now these little two little notebooks that I have in here are from the Dollar Tree. And they are a little different size but close to A5. And this is a May Designs book which is a little narrow. I think this is considered a different size. This is five by eight. So, but they still work in a traveler's notebook that is A5, we just have extra space. So as you can see, this is what they look like. So with this, if you're using them for a traveler's notebook, all you need to do, where are my lists? because I printed out some lists, some banner checklists that I want to make a notebook with for this. And I printed four sheets. All I would have to do to make a notebook is fold these in half. And that's it. I, there's no cutting, no measuring. I just print it front and back on eight and a half by 11 paper, fold them, and add my cover if I want to cover staple them if I want to staple them and add them into my notebook and I'm going okay so I have my notebook here I can staple so bind it any way I want to bind it and let's just say it's bound then I can just slide it in to my band, trying not to wrinkle up my pages too much. And there I have my notebook. So I'm just going to put this aside. Then the other option is using the disc bound system the same principles apply. You would simply cut your paper in half 
and half would be five and a half inches because it's 11 inches wide so you cut at five and a half inches I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these and that's it you would use your um your disc punch or you can use a hole punch and snip the little opening for the disc system I just want to show you what they look like so these are what the holes on a disc system look like so you can use a regular hole punch to punch the rounded part and then use your scissors to cut the slit or you can use a disc system punch I happen to have a create 365 Mambi happy planner punch so I would use this I'm gonna go ahead and punch this half piece because I don't want to punch these inserts I actually want to put those in my binder so I would just put this in my happy planner punch and punch the holes now another way you can do that is if you have an example that you can use and you don't have a disc system punch you can just line up your template or line up the page that you're using as your template draw mark where these holes need to go Oops, I'm trying to do this quickly and then you could just take a regular hole punch and punch where you've marked that then you could come back with your scissors and snip the little opening and I'm doing this really fast so you would be a little more careful doing this take more care but And the holes look a little different, but this is a great solution if you don't have a um, disc system punch. It works great. And you would have to do this anyway, say if you were making your own cover, or whatever the case may be. So let's pop these on. I want to show you that. It, let me put this back. This is how you just kind of press the paper in between the discs. So this is the side that we did with the hole punch. Let's pop that on. So it works just as well as the Happy Planner side. And you can just peel it off. So you can add as many inserts as you would want. Oops. using the disc system and again it's just taking the paper cut it in half punch your holes add it to your planning system or binding system okay so that's the disc system let's clean up the mess now the one that I'm going to be using for now you print on your letter paper, you cut it in half, and punch your holes and you're ready to go. You can use a regular hole punch that you can get from Dollar Store or Walmart, somewhere like that, like I just used for the disc system, or you can use a six hole punch. Or a five. These are TV series episode and season trackers that I'm going to put in here. It's time for the new TV shows to come out. So I want to keep track of a few things. Plus, I binge watch a lot of things on um, Netflix and I kind of want to just keep track of what I'm watching. I'm going to go ahead 
and punch these pages to add them this I think they have these on Amazon if I can find it on Amazon I'll leave a link below it is a six hole punch it works for a5 there's another size in here that it says I don't know what that is and personal size it may even work for pocket I don't have a pocket size binder so I'm not sure but I have it you can slide these around you can see so you can slide them to the position you need I'm doing a5 that's the largest position so I have them sl uh, have slid them all the way to the edges and then it's basically just a matter of centering the insert and there is a center mark here and punching the holes so that's done now I can just add these in any section I want and I think I'm going to add these here for now so that's it you cut the paper in half and you have an insert ready to go after it's been printed so these are available on the website. I also have these that I'm going to add. And I just want to make sure that I'm punching my hole on the right edge. Because with the half page inserts I designed, I try to leave a little extra space um, on the edge where you're going to be punching holes. Just so you're not punching holes through the part that you need to write on. And it gives you room if you want to add washi it gives you room for that so I'm just gonna add this one in here with these other inserts or do I want to do that let's add these here kind of keeping this separate I haven't finished setting up this notebook I'm just kind of moving back into it for now so um, I need to I'm definitely going to be reorganizing this. And then I have these inserts in here. They're shopping list inserts for the different stores that the planner peeps shop at. So I've got those in here for the holidays. And now I'm going to add this freebie from my website in here. It has a Christmas countdown. And then you can print as many gift ideas pages as you need. So I'm going to go ahead and punch these and add them into my book that way I already have them ready to go when I'm ready to start my I didn't cut those right when I'm ready to start my Christmas binder I might be trying to punch too many here too many so there's my Christmas countdown and here's my other gift idea pages so that's it. I just wanted to pop in and talk about how versatile A5 or half letter or half page inserts are. So they work in all three of these systems. Traveler's Notebook, Disc System, Six Ring Binder. And if you're buying printables, that's great because if you decide, if you're a binder user and say you decide you want to use a Traveler's Notebook for a while, you can still use those same printables in any of these systems so keep that in mind when you're deciding you know what size and what size you want to work with and I just I just think that's a plus for the A5 size because you can use it for in so many different ways so that's it please let me know if you have any questions or leave your comments below if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.